Hey everyone, welcome to MikeUXPortfolio.com. I wanted to walk everybody through my website I just put up. In particular, I wanted to show you the process I go through uh, putting up a blog post, which is right here under Thoughts. There we go. In particular, I wanted to run you guys through the content management system I put together. Uh, the content management system I did put together was put together from scratch, built the code from scratch, no libraries in JavaScript, and built the framework from scratch in PHP. So why don't we get to it? First I'll run you through my site a little bit. It's got a nifty little animation here. This is the main page. And then I got four sections. You're going to go to my portfolio, go to my blog, go learn about me, and you can contact me. So I'll tell you what, why don't we put together a blog post here. So you're on my content management system. The first thing you're going to see is you've got to log in to get to it. Mike and password. This is my normal username password. If anybody wants to break into my Wells Fargo account or anything like that, feel free. This is what I always use. Submit. Okay, it was correct. It let me in. So we're going to go to the blog section. We could uh, alter information in the pages, like the home page. Put a new title, put new descriptions, put new tags, new H1 tags, new H2 tags. We could add new portfolio pieces here. Right now we're going to add a new blog. So we go to add new entry right here. And right away you're going to see we have kind of a, a top controller bar. This is a bar we use to build out the content. And then we do have some fields here that build the initial content. The name is the name of the blog post. We're going to call this this is my test blog. All right, the description is what you see. I'm going to click on this one. So you see the name, and then you see this the description. Here's the description. This is my description. D E S C R I P T I O N. Period. All right, and the main image is the main image you see on the main blog page that lists all my blog entries so that's the main image and we're going to upload a test image here oh, to walk you through it we have file this is the file commands you can either publish it you could save it as a draft you could actually save it and what that does is it basically saves the entry without actually altering whether it's a draft or published and without actually altering the date it was published or you could delete it here we have rows. This is a, I, I have a custom content builder, which allows you to add different types of rows. We're going to get into that a little bit later. And then within those rows, you have different type of wi different types of widgets you could add. And we have this the status here, which is published. But we don't have to worry about that. This is kind of a dummy one that never gets published. So right now we're going to add our main image. Here we go. Ew, ugly mug. Let's add that. There we go, our main image. I'll tell you what, why don't we go ahead and publish it. So we hit publish and you're going to see right here, blog post has been created. That's our little status kind of uh, overlay. It's going to give us all the information when we publish, when we add images. It has a little percentage counter to let you know the percentage of image that's been uploaded. <coughs> when we create links, it'll let you put in the link right there. So we just publish this blog post. Let's see if it appears here. All right, it did. There we go. We just created our blog post. If you want to read it, you can. Unfortunately, there's not much content in here. Actually, there's none because we haven't built it out yet. We're going to get to the content builder and do that. All right, here we go. Here's the start of the content builder. It doesn't look like much, but once we get into it, you'll see kind of the power of it. <coughs> One thing about this is I wanted to make it extremely visual, extremely user-friendly, and very, very easy to use. And to do that, I made everything click-drag. So for row, you could click and drag it. Full means full row. Slice 23 is the count of the slice. I actually created my own custom CSS framework to do this. So there's 23 slices across here. Here's a one half stack, one half, one half. You get the idea. You could also do a one third stack, which is one third, one third, one third. And by the way, this is completely responsive. So as you narrow it down, the 
you'll see the cells within the row within the rows here collapse and make it responsive right there. Now the whole thing obviously is click drag. You click and you drag it. Now within these rows we get we have certain things we could do too with the command bar here. We could either delete it if we want. We could add shading. We could add padding between the rows. Or we can move it. Let's go ahead and move this one. Move it down to the bottom. There we go. Click drag, very intuitive. Complete layout builder. Now within these rows we have certain columns, obviously, based on the what, what you chose. And now we have a number of different widgets we could add. We could add a headline, copy, a visual box, or an image. So why don't we go ahead and start adding some content. Let's add a headline. Let's do that. I have an ugly nose. Okay, let's go ahead and add some copy here. Let's add a new row. Here we go. Add it there. Go ahead and reduce some padding. A little bit too much padding there. Go ahead and add some copy. This is my body copy. I need it. Now within each of these widgets you could do different things like within the headline the body copy you could delete it if you wanted show you that add a headline there let me delete that there we go you could delete it you could add shading within the widget itself you could center justify it you can left justify it or you can move it to any one of the cells you want any one of the columns there we go and I'll copy it right there move it back here let me delete a few of these. Delete that one. Delete that one. All right. Why don't we create a full row here? Want a big image? So within the widget, I'll show you what a visual box is. A visual box is kind of cool. Do a one third, one third, one third. So a visual box. It's kind of a nice little visual look, like that. Visual box, visual box, visual box. This is kind of for lists and things like that. I wanted to make it a little bit more visual than the typical UL LI list. So AAA, BBB, CCC. And why don't we go ahead and add some shading here? There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, then let's add a huge image. So for image, put it there. Uh, here are the commands for the images right here. Obviously, we can uh, delete it, trash it. We can move it, or here's the upload command for an image. So we do that. Oops. Here we go. There's a big image we're going to upload, and automatically uploads it. It doesn't just upload it front end, it uploads it into the server, too. So let's just say this is our blog post. Let's go ahead and publish it. File, publish. And let's check it out. There we go. We're up and running. Complete layout builder. And if we don't like the look of the layout, we can just alter it. Let's go ahead and take that and put it down here. Take our copy, put it out in here. I think this actually looks better. And here we go. File, publish. There we go. And you'll see the power of this layout builder, the, the different configurations you could use when I show you some of my different portfolio pieces, because it, it also built my portfolio as well. See kind of the power of it. And I don't know why those aren't showing up. Here we go. One half, one half, headline copy, big image. Here's a visual box right here. Oh, one other neat thing you could do, I forgot, is you could add links wherever you need. You do that by highlighting the copy you want to link, hitting Control L, and that brings up the box here. Type in the URL you want, hit the button, and automatically add the link. Now, if you ever want to unlink it, you just go to here, click it again, delete the link, and it unlinked it. 
there we go. All right, that is my layout builder. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Can't wait to talk to you next video. Thank you.